I'm Christian A.B. And I'm Ryan Elliott. And we are soundtracking today from Sound Metaphors in Berlin. For a resident advisor. For a resident advisor. Uh, the characteristics of a perfect peak time bomb, I think something with obviously a lot of energy and intensity, a really good baseline. It can be something that has a lot going on, but it can also be something where it's just that baseline and a few other elements, but the intensity has to be really strong and you have to know when to, to let it loose, to deploy it. If you let a peak time bomb go too early, maybe you've wasted it or maybe it doesn't have the same effect that it would when the energy is just right in the crowd. My peak time bomb today that I picked is coming out today <laughs> on, my, on my label, Faith Beat, and it's from someone you might know. It's by Christian A.B. <laughs> on his album, New Life, and it's called oh. Super Solar, and it's my favorite song right now. It makes me happy just listening to it. You, know, you recognize that one? <laughs> Yeah, wow. Got a, a Dutch progressive record by DJ Enrico. A track I've been playing for a long time, probably when I started DJ. Yep. That's what it's all about. It's one of those records you just kind of sticks out. Groove phenomenon. <laughs> <laughs> Volume three. It has everything a peak time bomb should have. Good bass line, good melody, the drums breakdown is immaculate. When it really hits, you see the dance for everyone's like. It's got a lot of intensity to it without doing too much. Actually. Exactly. There's not exactly. a, there's probably only three, really? four or five elements in it. But they're all well balanced well. Yeah. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. Mixing in a curveball, maybe wait till the end of your set. You don't have to mix after it. If you're closing. Me, I play pretty linear, so everything's kind of flowing. So something out of flow, but not too much, because you want to still be able to keep the dance or dancing, you know? You don't want to have that break of energy. Yeah, maybe something 80s, maybe something new beat-ish, synth poppy, alternative blueprint, volume one. And if you read the label, it's like minimal pig fact electro obscure instruments automated acoustic yes yeah, pretty crazy <laughs> you get the idea sometimes it works sometimes not but i like the record yep That is definitely weird. Definitely. <laughs> no, it's very good. It's cool, right? Yeah. The curveball I picked is on one of my favorite old labels, Force Tracks. And the artist is, I'm probably going to butcher this, but Une. And the track name is Like Your Style. Unai. Unai. <laughs> <laughs> and I think this is a curveball because the, the beats are a little, almost broken beat. And the, the lyrics are almost like pop, but it's really cleverly done and it, it always works like within a house or techno set. <laughs> Curve. It's like R&B house almost, uh, the way the lyrics like play out. I use it because the beat is a little bit shuffly and uh, the, the vocals are kind of unexpected, the way he sings it and what he's talking about. So it really sort of, um, it creates like a, a stutter in the energy of the set. But it's not too far 
away from House of Techno that it that it completely disrupts the the mood of the party. I wouldn't play it, but it's cool. <laughs> there he is. It's a curveball. It's a curveball. I'll make sure to play it next time we play together, and we'll see if it works or not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, man. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I think a, I think a record that it's not from Berlin. It's from the UK, from London. It came out. It came out recently. Um, is by Ploy, a really good record, and I think that's his label, Death Test. And the track is called Sending. For some reason, as soon as I heard it, 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 it I think it feels very Berlin. I, I don't know if he would agree or disagree, but um, it's very heavy and sexy. So. We'll see what you think. We've been playing it everywhere. It's so good, it doesn't have to prove itself. It just sort of rolls out. Super cool. Like that one. Wait, it rolls. It's really nice. All right, I got him back. He didn't like the curveball, but he got he liked the Berlin <laughs> record. This is a I like to say like progressive trance label from the nineties by the artist called Pain. I think it's very relevant to today's sound. A lot of people are playing this kind of trancey house uh, music, and I think even though it's old, it really does uh, stand up to the test of time and sounds really relevant today. And I still play it. It's really nice. That sounds like Berlin summer kind of right now, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, you know, summertime sound. Yep. A bit of house, techno, right. fusion, some trancey elements. I like that one too. Yeah, buddy. Nice bass line. Good drums. For sure it's going to go down well. I think so. And you like it. And I like it. So that counts for something. <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> Approved. Right. <laughs> Yeah, this is an old, um, an old record on the label Visitor, and I've been playing this one a lot lately. This is another one that I pulled from my uh, my collection that sits in my parents' basement. If I were to see this in a store, that's that's exactly the kind of stuff I would go for. Not too crazy, um, but something about it. Very clean. Very clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minimal. Oh, yeah. Um, track names easy to see. Stuff like that. Amazing scene for wow. When I find these things in my parents' basement, it makes me wonder why I left them there in the first Classy. place, you know? Classy. Like that one? Ooh, the bass line. Ooh. It's nice. Yeah. Well put together, like my man here. <laughs> <laughs> this is my pick for artwork. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Crazy artwork, so cool. Uh, when I saw the record, I knew it was gonna be amazing. But it's also a good friend of mine. We made it, uh, Nikola Casimir and Walid. This is my favorite cut of the three. I don't have a lot of drum and bass and I usually don't play it but that's a beautiful song that's a beautiful track yeah closing track for me I found this at the shop today and I'm going to try to buy it from the guys later Blunted Dummies House for All classic um, came out originally on Definitive which was John Aquavivo's label um, and he was from Canada, very close to Detroit. I've put it away for a while 
a few years, but I think I'm seeing it here today in the shop. I think I'll probably bring it back out. Yeah, and it means more to me because it was made somewhere very close to where I grew up. I think that's a perfect closing track for the summer. There's two different things. There's the closing of the night and the closing of your set. I don't think if it's just the closing of your set and someone else is playing next, I don't think you can really define what a track for that is. But for the end of the night is what I'm talking about, like what it can be a little more emotional. My pick for a closing record would be this uh, tune Universe by Cloud Innovator. Found it in Detroit, actually. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, around 2016, teaching with friends. Uh, really, really special record for me because it reminds me of those times, you know, going to record stores all over the world, just traveling, just digging. Yeah. You need to play that when we play together. It's really nice, right? Yeah, that's a really unique record, too. Really, huh? Yeah. A lot of sentimental value, you know? It's really reminds you of those times records, did they do that, don't they? Yeah. Physical. You know, you can remember everything you did that day and who you're with and where you found it. Right. That's why I love records so much. I think if you play that at the end of the set, it would have to be the end of the night. Right. It has to be emotional, you know, it has to be, yeah. like, give you goosebumps, you know. You... Positive feeling. I yeah, think. yeah, for sure, you know. Like, a, it's like a gift to the crowd for sticking with you, for this, right. like, something really special, you know. 